Hi, I'm Riley Fern from Cincinnati, Ohio. I'm a first year student here at Miami University who's applying for the communication design major. Communication design is very similar to graphic design. However, communication design problem solves through creativity with images and ideas to create designs that are people driven and need based. Through my Persona Icons project, I created three concept icons based off of a persona. My persona is a 45-year-old female from Seattle, Washington, who is from Puerto Rico and has a Mexican cultural identity. She's very polite and welcoming and has a habit of giving hugs. She's also very interested in genealogy. Through this, I took concepts that connected to her and brainstormed as many associations as possible and connected those associations together to see what concept seems to represent my persona the most effective. Through this, I found Puerto Rican, Mexican culture and welcoming were the most effective. I then created a mood board. The idea was to use bright, vivid colors that were Mexican inspired. I wanted the pieces to overall feel fun, bright, friendly, and minimalistic. And then after that, I created 24 first initial concept sketches. All of these sketches are either in the categories of Puerto Rican, welcoming, or Mexican culture. And then through these, we had a critique where my peers suggested that I combined Puerto Rican and Mexican culture, which made room for genealogy to be added as another concept. They also suggested creating a welcome mat for my welcoming icon instead of my, any of my other icons I had. They also suggested not to add too much detail to my final icons. Then these were the revision sketches right before creating the final icons. And then my final persona icons. The first one is a combination between Mexican and Puerto Rican, and then the second one is a welcome mat to represent her welcoming personality, and then the third one represents her interest in genealogy. And although I really liked those final designs, I decided to redesign them into something that I was more happy with. So here's the first one, and then the second, and then the third. The main thing I added was a drop shadow to the back. I added more detail to the sombrero so you could truly tell that it was a sombrero. And then I changed the mat to a door to show that she was open and friendly and, and welcoming. And then through my design problem and solution, I learned how design can be used to problem solve. The problem I observed was the issue of a trash bags falling into the trash can. When this occurs, it can not be fun to stick your hands into a nasty trash can to try to place it back correctly on the edges. I then created two solutions. The first solution was to create a string that goes around the bag on the outer edge of the trash can that can be tightened. And then the second one was a redesign of an existing clip and hooks that are placed on the outside of the trash can where you could put the excess trash bag through a hole, tie it, and then wedge it between a slit. For my prototype, I went with the first solution. I created a sketch for the prototype, which then I created the actual prototype itself. The materials I used were two clips, a hoodie string, and a metal can tab. The hoodie string wraps around the trash bag and can be keep it from slipping. The two clips are used to hold onto the trash bag so that the string is secure. And then the tab is used to hold the strings in a way that can be tightened or loosened. I then had my friend come and help me test my prototype. Uh, my tester provided good and useful feedback. I got feedback that the clips might seem unnecessary and su she suggested to get rid of the clips and just use the string that can tighten around the trash can. Another piece of feedback I got was to maybe add a texture or rubber component that will make the string grip to the trash bag to help prevent it from slipping off. My final summarized thoughts. Based off my findings from my testing, my prototype, there are a few things I would change to design. I would probably get rid of the clips to make it quicker for others to use. And another thing I would change is the piece that tightened and loosened the string. I would make this into something that had more strength to keep the string secure no matter the weight of the trash in the bag. And then the last thing I would change is to use a rubber coat with a texture that can easily grip onto the trash bag. Thank you for listening to my final a project for Art 151.